Why, hello. Hey. Do you love the 80s? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Today is gonna be fun because we are opening up some 80s Barbies. As you can see, Cole is back. Hey, hey. He picked a good day to come back because we are opening up Animal Lovin' Barbie, Western Fun Barbie, and, and Astronaut Barbie. Oh yeah. Yay, we're space! <laughs> we're gonna do this one last because this is a good one. This is a big, this is one of my favorites from the 80s. But the other two are really good too. I, I wanna get into Animal Lovin' Barbie because she's got a panda and I love bears. Everything I wear is bears. This one is so fun and like tacky at the same time. See the back of the box here. This was, uh, what, 19, 1988, probably came out in 89. This was 10.99 at Target. That's expensive. In 1989. For 1989. I was talking about the prices of Barbies not too long ago on Instagram. They've gone and down in quality, haven't they? That's well, how they can afford to do this. Some Barbies in the 90s were like upwards of thirty dollars and stuff for Playline Barbies. For a Playline Barbie, you we should we looked at one that was three hundred dollars. Well, that, that was a special edition thing, okay. but. I mean, $30 in the early 90s is like $10 million you today. Could have bought it, you could have got a pager if you wanted it back then. <laughs> it, was, it was a lot of money. Now, today's Playline Barbies, the, the good thing about it is they are very affordable for families, but they're also made a lot more cheaply. You don't really open, you don't gasp when you see the box and you see the dress sometimes in like the 80s, 90s. You look at the box and you go, oh, ah. Well, you know, back then they used to have these fun lines that everyone would remember, like Animal Lovin' and Western Fun Line is one of my favorites because you could get horses. One of my favorite vehicles is that Jeep. Camping sets, the Western Fun mm -hmm. Camper. You could I... just live your fantasy with these. I picked out these because, well, the astronaut one we can open up because this fell off my shelf and it really messed up the box. So I had to order another one. And so that, that just means we can finally open up this babe. But anyway, let's do Animal Love and Bark. Let's get to it. Just so you guys can see the box real quick here before we open it up. I mean, super cute. There were also animals. It came with this a zebra and a giraffe, and Barbie comes with this panda. Look at the background a lot. I see they put little little leaves and it's bamboo. Like safari. And her hair, thing. her hair is ridiculous. <laughs> this also came with animal love and Barbie tent. That looks fun. The tent, the big tent in the background. An exciting world of safari fashion and fun for Barbie and her friends. Mm. Okay, let's open them up. We'll open from the bottom. Okay, let's see what she's like. Ten dollars from Target in the eighties. Accessories. Here we go. Ooh. Okay, we've got um, a camera. We've got binoculars. She has a passport. She mm -hmm. has a map of the world. She's so these are just like that. cardboard punch outs. They're they're cardboard punch outs, yeah. And there's a compass, so she'll need that when she's down under. She's really like uh, Jane Goodall. Now, I mean, I guess the idea here was to encourage conservation, animal conservation. That's what that was to encourage like kindness to animals, and you know, I think in the '80s and '90s we treated animals like garbage. If you think about it, think well, if you about think what? about old zoos, well, old zoos, but also think about like hermit crabs. And we I, had a lot of animals that they were meant to live a week long, and that's not fair. Oh, we had aquariums growing up, rabbits, snakes. hamsters. I had snakes, tarantulas. I think in the nineties, eighties, kids might need a little encouragement to be kinder to animals, especially at the uh, pet Not store. Little boots. You know, she actually looks cuter out of the box. Look at her eye makeup. Now I'll take it in for a minute because she has pink right under her brow and then she has blue on her lid. 
And so there's a really cool blue to pink shift there right below her brow. Superstar sculpt, superstar arms. Her skin is really like sort of tacky. It does feeling like oh. she's kind of sticky. Well, she's out in the tropics <laughs> and she's getting, it's humid out there. So she gets really sticky. She's got these earrings. Those are ridiculous. Part with the giraffe. I'll give it a, a gentle fluffing. Now, are you a fan of prints like this? This neon gold animal print? When I think of neon animal print, I think of moving group in Barbie. I'll I put think, those up here. Those I, are the hottest little numbers, like a matching neon animal print that's on all four of the Barbies that is really, really cute. Christy's my favorite. Something that's like inherently like really tacky about neon animal print, but then also something that's very drag and very fun about it to me. She's got some condition with her knees. They, they make <laughs> this crazy pop when she does. Uh, I mean, she is really cute. Let's hold her up here. Now think about, now she panda. can have a, a zebra and she, she doesn't even smell. Like, you think that you would smell barnyard and stuff, but no. You think that she would be up to her she smells neck like and, and sh but she's not. She has some Susie Green energy. Okay, this is Animal Lovin' Barbie. She's actually very pretty. She has blue lashes too. She's wearing blue mascara, that's fun. I approve. I approve, this is a cute, I approve. This is a cute one. Let us know, did you guys have Animal Lovin' Barbie growing up, or do you have her right now? I mean, I, I think this is a really fun one. Norm this is Norman Bates, in case you guys didn't know. You guys he, keep asking, this is, his name's Norman. He's 12? No, he's seven. I don't see him a lot. Why don't you hold her, the lines that Barbie had, you would just, they would come with so much stuff that you could just keep collecting and adding to that line. And then it would be exciting when a new line would come out. Could you, kids really afford to get all this stuff? Like all the extras? Lucky kids. Yeah, Lucky kids, for, I'm sure, had all sorts of this stuff for each it, line. This seems pretty pricey, I gotta admit. Well, now, maybe that's just the old millennial on me, like, coming out. I mean, they were very high quality toys. And again, this one was 10 bucks at Walmart. I got an African-American Western Fun Barbie for this. Now, we were talking earlier, look at the print on the dress. We're thinking this, this is like Aztec print, like, Southwestern prints and these neon colors. Kind of a Native American throwback thing. I, as far, I don't really know all that much. I mean, look at this. Doesn't that scream Native yeah. American? I mean, one of my favorite fashion lines from Barbie is the Western Fun fashion line. I got all of them in the box. We're not opening those, I tell you that. Just like the Astro fashions. I'm not gonna open all those, but I, I got them all in the box and they're, they're amazing. I love this one already. She's got this huge hair. Mm. And she is all, she's got pretty light brown eyes. She's wearing some kind of like pink lipstick and she's got a light blue eyeshadow that wraps around her, her eye. Her belt is a friendship bracelet for you. Oh, I thought it was a sex bracelet. Western fun Barbie, ranching, riding, and outdoor fun. Let's open her up. This is the exciting part. Whoa. Okay. Happy camper. Look at this. Now the blue was a really smart choice to put in front of this because she pops off of this background. All right. She is. Uh, now look at boots and now, brush. More punch outs here. And these are also more Southwestern theme. <laughs> okay. Ooh, the pants. Yeah, that's cute color. Let's look at the color of these. Oh. There she is. Very cute. Ooh. Look at the colors in this, in that dress. I love this little skirt here and the print on it and these fun colors. And she's got this, you know, like turquoise. She come with a horse. Thing here. I do have one in there that came with the horse and I thought about opening her up, but then I looked her up on eBay for how much they're going for. And I said, hell no, we're not gonna open <laughs> that one up today. 
Her legs are doing that poppy thing too. She's got a condition. I kind of want to take her out of this. Okay. This is very fashionable. She just, her hair needs some work. I'll say that. If I met her in a salon, I think we'd get along great. Well, that just shaped up real modern and sweet. But I think it's about time. I think it's about time. I'm excited for this next one. Astronaut Barbie. You saw her in the Barbie movie. Mm-hmm. Up in space, floating around. You know, one of my favorite Barbies is, or my favorite Barbie outfits is from 1965, the first astronaut Barbie. And this is sort of a play on that. But this time around, they went more fantastical. And there's a pretty good reason for that. They did some research, some focus groups with kids, and they found that kids had a fear of outer space. <laughs> and Well, it's like open water, it's terrifying. They were scared of the whole concept. And not only that, whenever this line was scheduled to debut at the International Toy Fair, I think it was, uh, just a week before that, the Challenger space shuttle blew up on live television. I was gonna say that probably put kids off of the idea of this. Traumatized kids everywhere, and this entire line was pulled from the debut. But still, it went to shelves, and still somehow it found an audience. And I, I would guess a lot of that is due to the fact that it is more fantastical. It is not like a real astronaut. And one of the things I love, as you see on the, the very front there, is she is wearing a fucking skirt on the moon. It's a little like retro futuristic, but with 80s style. Let's do it. She's, you know, okay. she's got a helmet. She's got the whole this is thing a crazy going on. Oh. Uh, how much was this doll, by the way? Uh, it's probably like eight or nine bucks, I would guess. Whew. Copyright 85, probably hit the shelves in 86. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Now one thing whenever you open up old stuff like this and there are stickers to add, a lot of the time the, um, the stick them, the stick them <laughs> on the back will wear away. And so if you want the stickers to work, you might have to add your own glue again. Okay, I think we have another outfit. Yeah, I want to put her in the skirt when I display her, because this one I'm definitely going to keep on display somewhere. I want her in that little mini skirt walking oh. on the moon. No woman should be wearing this on the moon. It's got to be freezing up there. Oh, yeah. Look at those. This makes the idea of flying into space and exploding a little bit less terrifying. Okay, I can already tell you, this is my favorite one that we've opened up today. The shape, the top, is that what it is? It's everything. It's the fact that she's an astronaut for one. <laughs> but just the whole idea, it's so ridiculous. There's no runway influence happening well, I mean, with this. In this skirt, oh. this is, she's gonna wear this on the moon with the helmet on. The helmet. Okay, let's Just do the it. helmet and the skirt. See, this has little metal snaps on the back too. Okay, nice this piece. This plastic has like, it looks like a dog got a hold of it. Well, now it's a little old. It's this taking is... a minute to figure out how to put together the helmet. She comes with all these plastic pieces. If we look at the tights, they're very sexy. Were you ever a kid who wanted to be an astronaut? I remember when we were kids, it was usually young girls who said they wanted to be marine biologists. I was going to say, everybody in school was going to be a marine biologist. They thought it was playing with Shamu, let's be real. What is a ludenoid? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That was worth it. Astronaut Barbie. 1985. I think this could just be a cool look. Imagine her at a rave if she just took off. If she just showed up like this. Can you imagine a cool girl nowadays? She shows up with Molly and she's got, she's wearing a helmet. <laughs> this would be the coolest girl at the party. Yep, this one you know. is absolutely my favorite. The Barbie flag will attach to this little stand here so she can plant the Barbie flag. Well, it was Sally Ride, who was just a few years before this, I think, 
And I think they wanted to sort of commemorate the first woman in outer space by uh, going back and doing another astronaut. And I'm certainly glad that they did. So to recap, we have got Animal Lovin' Barbie, Western Fun Barbie, and Astronaut Barbie. Your favorite? I'm gonna go with Animal Lovin' Barbie. You're picking Animal Lovin' over uh, Astronaut Barbie? It's, it's weird, but there's something about this one that I just, I like the detail. But I, this is more important. This is a more <laughs> important piece. But I'm gonna go with Animal Lovin' because I love animals. Let us know which of these you had as a kid, which you've got right now. Do you want to get them? Have you found them for a good deal? What's the story there? I love unboxing stuff. We did a 90s unboxing, but... That was a really fun one. Remember, we did the, um, she, the wheelchair one. Becky. Becky. She's right Becky, there. Becky, right here. Let us know which one is your favorite in the comments and Remember, anyone who donates to my channel will automatically be entered to my monthly giveaways over on Instagram. So make sure you're following me over there. Follow him over there for sure. That does it for the 80s edition. We will see you next time. Bye.